It's happy hour at the Banter Bar. So, let's get into it. Welcome to a special episode uh, with Katie and Joseph. It's a miracle, but I am between a married couple and feeling nervous about it. They seem fine. Um, yeah, here's hoping everything goes well. This special we're doing is one in which we will uh, do a play on South Park's smorgasvine joke. That's where they were doing wine and beer mixtures, or Randy was. Anyway, first we're going to try the wine, rate it. Then we're going to mix these six brews we've covered before with the wine, see what we think. Any thoughts, Joseph? I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. I'm guessing you're ready too. Yep. Would you like to try the wine? I tried to get my favorite wine, which What's is uh, Smoking Loon's Pinot Noir, but I couldn't find it. So I went with Behringer's Pinot Noir because they make the uh, wine that my wife really likes. Behringer. Whew. Starting out with wine. It smells very strong. Uh, it's a it's a dark red, deep. It's probably going to be bitter. It's, it's good for you. It's it smells. Your heart. It smells like heartburn. Well, maybe, but it. <laughs> I have some Pepsi in the bathroom if you need it. That's like a liquor. You took that like a shot. I thought that's what it was. <laughs> that is not like a liquor. That's really good, actually. What? Um, because I've been trying to find a uh, red wine, which I hear Pinot Noir is the best for. I can never remember the the stuff in it that's good for you. What am I grapes? Oops. <laughs> what I, don't, I don't know. That's you know, what Jordan was saying. You know, grape juice has the same stuff, but that one's good. It has like a an aftertaste. It's kind of chocolatey, something yeah. warm. What is I like it. Uh, that's for mixing. Okay. We're going to do a shot of wine, actually, in your shot glass. And then we'll mix the beers into the cup. You'll see. It'll work. I'm with you. Um, chocolate, it has a... Like, if you have dark chocolate, that that bitter character that... that it's hard to explain. I want to say chalky, but that's not right. Um, if you ate a bunch of grapes... That like stickiness in your mouth after, it's that same sort of flavor. It's more sweet than I anticipated. Uh, closer to maybe a Merlot, maybe. But yeah, I do really like it. I would give it a seven. Oh, I didn't even think about the rating. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's hard because um, when I'm going for the I, what I'm just gonna sit there and drink, I'm going for like. Sweeter, less whiny, I guess. But I've been trying to drink red wine for the health benefits lately. So I'm not, you know, just looking for something. The last red wine I drank, which I can't remember the brand. I think it was probably Barefoot. Okay. But it was, Nothing wrong with that brand, despite what snobs will tell you. Yeah. Yeah, it's cheap, so I went for it. But I think it was Pinot Noir. It was... It was like torture taking sips. That's not that I could sit there and so. The more we sit here, the more blackberry I'm getting. That's that's what's punching me. Uh, and the red wine will make a great mixer too. Like you could still mix that with Sprite and ice. Nothing would be wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Can I have a little bit of water? Agua. I know nothing about wine. So, um, I'll just give it a four. And that's that. I don't have anything. I will give it a six. It oh, I thought you had already said. No, I was just yapping. All right, so now we know our baseline. Joseph doesn't love it. Katie likes it. I like it quite a bit. And no, Nowhere near as good as the smoking loon that I wanted, but it's a good place to start. So, let's rate our mixers. 
If you want, you'll notice you have two cups. So if you want to just try the beer, if you've never had the beer, don't remember what it tastes like, because these are very different. All of them are. So if you just want to taste the beer by itself, be my guest. But the notion is wine into the shot glass, beer into a cup, mix it into your Dixie cup. So it's supposed to be more beer than wine? If you want. Okay. In the show, they're dropping shots of beer into wine, so it would be the reverse. Okay. But we aren't Randy. We don't need to get that fucked up. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little Guinness. I'm not going to go overboard. I'm probably going to do half in each thing. Whew, that's a little more than half. Well, I guess this makes it difficult because the less beer I have, well, that's about what you have, I guess. Yeah, Close. you don't have to fill the wine thing. Question is, are you a fan of flowers as a gift? See, and I had no idea what the questions were. They're just randomly put out here. So, again, I'm between a married couple. Let's make the best of things. I make you sound unhappily married. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. It's not my intention. You're not wrong. Well, god damn. <laughs> Just kidding. The truth is coming out. We ain't even one beer in. That does not look good at all. <laughs> I'm scared of it. Wait. Do I care to taste the beer? No. Okay. Mmm. 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 Wow. So Guinness is a black beer that pairs pretty well with this wine, in my opinion. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, I mean, it made the wine taste better. Yeah, I feel like the Guinness kind of hides the wine, but it also takes away some of that overly bready character that you can get with Guinness. Mmm. Okay, fuck, I'm finishing it. There's something chocolatey again. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, that's Guinness, too, I think. Yeah. Can I have some aqua from you? Yes. Water. H2O. Can you pass me the beer? I just want to taste it. Did you and Toby try this one? Because I feel like there was something, and I think the bottle may have looked like this, and I feel like y'all were talking coffee, chocolate, kind of, and I was really curious. You mean on the show? Yeah. Let's see. Toby and I have tried this many times. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guinness is one of the best. Yeah, coffee. That's what it reminds me of. Coffee and wine. That. I mean, I'd go up to an eight on that. I really like that mixture. I'd go five. An increase for Joseph as well. I'd go six again. It's about the same? Yeah. Did you like the beer? It was it's okay. okay. It's not one I'd choose to sit there and drink, but it's not disgusting. Yeah, people will go a little overboard sometimes with their love of Guinness. There are other droughts, other stouts, other blacks that you can have that are lovely. So... All right. Um, are you a fan of flowers as a gift? Now, is this giving or receiving? Either. Or either. Yeah, okay, but... then yes. Well, you like well which or one now? Well, we gotta know. Come on. No, I would not be like, oh, yay, if I received flowers. But I'm a fan of giving them. I feel like I do that a lot. Okay. So you're not following the golden rule. You don't want to receive flowers as a gift. I mean, it's not that I don't want I just find it strange. There's for a truck me. outside. Sorry. For, for myself. Okay. Someone gave me flowers. Have you ever I received flowers as a gift? No. That's probably why you would think it was strange. Because it would be brand new to you. Yeah, I just would rather And not. you've never told anyone you wanted flowers. Mm, yeah. yeah. I am a fan of both giving and receiving. 
I didn't used to be. I used to think, you know, I'm not, I'm one of those girls. It's not a flower girl. Like they die, you know, and it's a waste of money. Not like that anymore. It is really nice to have some live fresh flowers for a little bit in the house. And I love shopping for bouquets of flowers. Like, especially, you know, it's like you're looking for a specific person and it's like you see them in the flat. I don't know. It's just fun. Yeah. Everything you said. Yeah. I got a uh, flower as a gift in grade school. I remember like when I did not expect anyone to give me flowers. This girl had been given a bunch of flowers and she gave <laughs> art. So that felt really good. I've loved flowers ever since. Um, are not a big part of my life. I don't like to grow flowers. I'm rambling. I'm excited about the pickle beer. Yeah, I've never tried it. I just want to try the beer again. I remember it. I've tasted like tons of other kinds of pickle beers and variations that they have and going back to the original. So we're I'm missing. To try it. I've yes. been needing to try this. Yes. So we opened everything in advance, by the way. That's just editing trick. I'm trying. Technically, it's not an editing trick if you did it in real life. Well, it's a trick for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick I'm employing. Oh, oh shit. I, guess I should have been. I'm sorry. No, you're good. good. Yeah, we got a lot of extra stuff going on on the table, so. Editing tricks be damned. It's probably still going to be noisy as fuck. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh I thought you had already poured it. No, I, I saw you pour it. Oh, okay. I should have just used my other cup. But... I'm fine. I did. Blame me. I'm in the way of true love here. The question is, why is society obsessed with lawns being mowed? Which is funny because we got a late start today because our lawn guy decided to come on the wrong day and was here for like an hour and a half. Which I shouldn't complain about because I have fucking lawn guys. So... <gasps> oh, you didn't pour it. Me the Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. You got PTSD from my Dixie cup? Pass you the water? The wine. The wine. That makes more sense. <laughs> Would uh, make a good story about the red stain on the very light colored carpet. What? Are you planning to stain my carpet? Is that what No, you're I said if you had spilled that, there had been wine and it would have been red. It would have... I get you. Yeah. So, like, if, if someone came over and they were confused, did I murder someone? Yeah, they were like, Did what? I have period sex? Never mind. Good God. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to be... You went there. I'm just trying to clarify, dude. Uh, did you mix them already? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to say this about the beer before we get going, which actually you're tasting it for the first time, so... I wouldn't just sit here and drink this, just like I wouldn't sit there and drink It almost quenches juice. my thirst. I'm not a pickle juice drink, but I, I definitely appreciate <laughs> the flavor. She's not a pickle juice drink. The more, the more you taste that, the more you're going to crave it. That's the really weird thing. This turned me, like I like the flavor, but it turned me off so much when I first tried it. Oh, goodness. Now, the mixture I'm excited about because I like the uh, grape pickle juice. Yeah, I'm hoping it tastes like a really tart, sweet drink. Um, so together, I will give them a six because of the, the wine brings it down for me. I mean, it covers the wine taste for the most part, but... It's just this pickle juice beer is good. I think it, yeah, the beer's better alone. And the wine's better alone. I don't like them together. Yeah, I kind of agree. There's something like a no. milky, maybe? It makes this pickle beer feel milky. It's got like this silk. I don't know. Yeah, that should be the name of this episode. I don't know. <laughs> Would you get it? Um, three. I'll say 
five. I mean, I still like the things. I like the parts. I just wish they were separated. Cool. Katie taking this cup washing very seriously. Well. Whew. So why is society obsessed with lawns being mowed? No one wants to live in a jungle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Maybe it has something to do with insects and snakes and things. But I don't think it does. I think society's just fucking stupid. As far as society standpoint, it's weird, especially with the neighborhood I live in now. I think if you don't mow your lawn, people view it as trashy, which is very strange. That's what I'm saying. We're like lazy. I would prefer that my lawn to be mowed. Like if I, there's no HOA or anything like that. Got my own yard or whatever. I would prefer it mowed because I like not just the look of it. I like the feel of it. I like to see. I'm also a freak, like scared of snakes and things yeah. like that. But I don't understand why it's um, viewed. Why it's an obligation. Bad. Why everyone needs to do that. It's funny how uh, society just goes along. I don't think a lot of people think about this, which is what makes it interesting for me. By the way, this beer, uh, if I were to compare it to like food, think of Greek food. The way you eat Greek food and there's so much garlic that blends with everything, you can brush your teeth and you're still tasting it hours later. That's what this beer is. It's it's pungent. Never had Greek food. I, I'm going to fix that in just a moment. I got a little bit of leftovers. You can try falafel uh, with tahini or tzatziki, whichever your preference is. Uh, lawns being mowed, I think there is this desire to believe, one, that we have complete control of nature, and two, this appearance of order. Which, like Joseph said, you're presenting something to people. It's just like having your hair brushed or whatnot, but it is... Uh, doing a lot of harm, I think, to the ecosystem. But there's more to it. You know, we want our little spaces to, you know, kids to be able to play in and know that there's not snakes and ants and everything else. Like, there's there's a lot of subconscious stuff going on there. So I'm not going to knock it too much. Let's just move the hell on. Yeah, I don't know much about the benefits of mowing your lawn or not mowing your lawn scientifically. So, yeah, I probably don't have a whole lot to add. I just think society's stupid, period. Society, you stupid. Fuck you, stupid. All right, Joseph. Stone IPA is our next mixer. I want to let you start down here. You can go ahead and pour. If you want to taste it on your own, you can. It's cold this time, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I feel any different about the beer. Talk about a question you don't need to answer. Yep. Everybody knows. Have you driven over 100 miles per hour? You're very fast and furious. That's so funny, right? Oh my god. I'm <laughs> laughing. You can't hear it, but I'm laughing. <laughs> did I already pour the beer in there? Yeah, I did. Did you get one? Yeah. I did. Oh, it's in the cup. I was like, woman, you ain't got no wine? <laughs> Lying and shit? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Speaking of mowing your lawn. It's still pretty cold. I think what trips me about IPAs is they start to warm so much faster than other beers. That's all the oil, I bet. Oil just hot as fuck. But that's still a really good IPA. If you like IPAs. If you don't like IPAs, sorry about your life. Oh, fuck. What do you taste more, the wine or the IPA? I don't even know. I taste... That tastes like... I taste the IPA. Pennies and rubber. Like a blood taste. Okay. Blood makes more sense... I guess. Okay, I'm. This is going in my head real fast. 
I'm not even spitting out words correctly. Have you drank it? No. Oh, drank it. You I tasted the IPA. What I'm about. It smelled like something, and I was trying to place that. That's that's weird as shit. I know what it is. Prune juice. That tastes like some liquored up fucking prune juice. I think I know what you mean. Check a pow. But I know what prune he means candy. too. But you were talking to him. No, I know. You were, the talking, prune to juice. You were talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just shocked by whatever the fuck just came out of his mouth. <sighs> I'm smelling water. Okay. Well, at least the IPA went away for you. The thing about being in the middle that I don't like is I feel obligated to drink all of this shit. And this is the wrong episode to be drinking. Because this is like 15%. 13.9%. You can pass it to me and I'll dump it. Did you really just mom out on me? Dump it to crump it. Did is that my problem became your problem just because I said something? I feel so guilty because he's been drinking all this. He's gonna get real drunk, and now I don't feel I guilty. Didn't, I didn't even think you about have it. a lot more episodes to record today. This is your big shebang, big shebang day right here. Yeah, we're doing thirteen in a day, and this is episode one. Joseph's gonna go to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to work. Did we write this? Oh no. Uh... One. Four. One. Stone, your IPA is really good. It does not belong in wine. Nah. Uh, caveat, though, if you like prune juice a lot, that's the mix for you. Have you driven over 100 miles per hour, Joseph? Somebody's here? Yep. Sounds like. Uh, yes. I have, multiple times. End of story. Katie, did no. you want to tell a story? No. I was rude. Uh, you just did it driven play? or riding count to? Driven. I don't okay. think I've driven 90 miles per hour or 80. Maybe 80. You don't have a license and you drive. True. So at least you're smart about it. Oh, yeah. I follow all the fucking rules. I'm not trying to get embarrassed by getting pulled over and not have a license. I could just get my license. <laughs> But I'd rather just play by the rules. I'm a procrastinator, See, okay? I don't like going in public. See, you guys out there can judge, but when you get a license, you feel like you can speed. She's keeping your kids safe, okay? What's that? It's probably my iPad. You want to open it up? What's your iPad? I have a video doorbell. Oh. You just push a button and it rings my iPad because that's why I have it hooked up. Oh, yeah. I still don't think I would drive that fast, even if I had a license. I love driving that fast, but I don't do it anymore. Because you usually have kids in the car? Well, or yeah, that, but um, I didn't even think about seizures. I was just going to say I got pulled over. I got pulled over driving really fast, and uh, yeah, I was trying to catch up with my claiming to be suicidal cousin. Because his girlfriend dumped him. I still got a ticket. I didn't go to jail. Because if you go over 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, you can be arrested. You're pretty you sure? Can? I think that's still the law. 30 miles. Yeah. I didn't know. We were telling the story at a party one time. And one of our cop friends was like, yeah, you, you Might be lucky. 20 over. Might be 20 over. Damn. Because I've gotten, I've gotten caught um, doing 130 and a 45. And he told me he could take me. That's the day they brought me home. You were sitting on the front porch. I don't even remember this. See, this is the kind of car that Joseph drives. Because most of the cars I drive, they might say 130. I can't get up there. I could get to maybe 110, 115. Not this motherfucker. But I have always thought if I do get pulled over for speeding, I hope I'm going really fucking fast. I hope the... <laughs> Ratio to the speed limit versus how fast I'm going, it, it's a big difference. You need a good story to tell, right? Yeah. See, I know why they're married now. All right, moving on <laughs> to beer number three. I hope three. I'm moving so fucking fast they can't even clock it. 
Like it just goes across as lightning bolts. <laughs> This is Rogue's Hazelnut Brown Nectar, which is one of my favorite things on the planet. So I'm just going to pour it and ignore you guys. You got the wine, sir. Toby, Heather, how's it going? I thought you don't. Oh, shit. I accidentally poured too much. Well, you better drink too much. This episode is fucking my brain. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's three people. Yeah. Dare rest grain. Straight into the... What sad question. Our question is, what's something cruel someone said or did to you that you still think about from time to time? I'm looking at you. I don't even got to say it. Um, Whoa. I'm tasting just the beer first. That is nutty. Yeah. So nutty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Do you like to give and receive? You should have. Uh, you should be in that commercial for that beer right there. Whoa! That's so <laughs> nutty. <laughs> it's nutty. That's what you should do for a living. Quit your job. <laughs> start doing beer commercials. <laughs> Because you'd sell the shit. Oh, that's Direct fucking numbers. good, dude. Nope, not good at all. I didn't do the mixer yet. You did the mixer already? Yes, I mixed. God, you're in a hurry. It's like you're driving a car. Moving along. Move, moving along. I like that. You gotta move fast, because like you could die. Any and jelly. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Nuts it's and nuts grapes. and grapes. You said nuts and grapes, and I said nuts and grapes. <laughs> it's a nuts and grapes! <laughs> but like the fanciest fucking peanut butter and jelly you're ever going to have. I love it. I'll give that an eight. I'm going to agree. Did not expect that. Yeah. Two? Mm, one. God. Same as the IPA? Yeah, that was fucking disgusting. That might have been worse. For real? Yeah, that was not good at all. Not for me. Can I have your water? Yeah. I gave you shit, but Joseph's actually going harder on it than I am. Or than you are. Who even are people? We're not individuals. We're connected on some level. Joseph, are we all the same person? Different points in time? No. <laughs> no. No, we're not. We all rated? Yep. Just making sure. Wow. Something cruel someone said or did to you that you still think about from time to time. Hmm. I'll go first. Yeah, because I'm not allowed to think. I don't hold grudges against people, but if it's a stranger, that fucks with me. Really? Um, yeah, and I remember being like 50, 60 pounds lighter than I am right now, and I was walking into a grocery store, and there was this real skinny, like real skinny redneck dude with a... Big old girl. Like, it's a lot of women. And it's the couple you expect to see, you know? Little guy, big girl. That's the way it works. It, yeah, it, it works. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. You don't, you don't like the way I just roll through it? I'm, th I'm thinking. <laughs> what the fuck? The very Sorry. beginning? I'm trying to think where that movie even starts. <laughs> the mom and the dad. I don't know why. They just fucking ignore me. That was just this image. No, now I'm trying to figure it out. The mom and the dad. Oh. Remember, the tornado's coming. There's a little girl. They're running to the shelter. Okay. They're out in the country. He's a little skinny dude. You got me thinking it's comedic for some reason. It's not comedic. No. It's like serious as shit. Yeah, then the dad get ripped away and big mama's 
still there? Yeah. Am I wrong? I don't know. Yeah, Watch Twister. Does. It's still Spoiler, pretty good. Still pretty does. good. Anyway, I'm walking into a grocery store. Little guy, big woman, and he says, "I ain't like this fat fuck right here." Like, and I'm much thinner than I am right now, you know. And that did a number on my confidence. I kept trying to figure out, like, what the fuck was this dude's deal? Was he trying to get his girl on a diet and couldn't do it, so he's pointing out anyone with extra meat on their bones? What did he say? Uh, look at this fat fuck right here, or like this fat fuck right here. That's just all I remember. I'm being accosted walking into a Kroger, you know? You sure he was talking about you? Yeah, there was nobody else there. He's pointing and, like, talking to me as I walk by. Yeah, there's no mistaking it. Weird. Anyway, that's that's my thing. I don't know. I do. I see what you mean about it's worse from strangers because when it's someone you know, it can it makes sense. It's like you can take harsh things. Some people might completely disagree with me, but it's easier for me to take harsh things from people you know because it's usually coming from like they're hurt by you they love you they care about you so they're like lashing out in this way so it i don't know in a way it's kind of worse because you know they know you really well so they can really hit you where it hurts but that's probably why they think it's okay though and they usually most people who aren't strangers won't talk shit about you yeah, like, a stranger who talks shit about you, they don't give a fuck. But someone who knows you, they're trying to keep the peace. And when they're not trying to keep the peace, most people are coming from a place where they want you to be a better person. So they're trying to let you know. Yeah. Like, this is what's wrong. So. Yeah, when it's a stranger, it's just, like, ugly and mean. Like, there's no other reason for it. So it's just, it's, it's just there. The first thing that came to my mind, which isn't cruel, so I'm trying to think of something cruel. I gotta know the first thing that came to your mind now. But it is just the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> in her own way, she was trying to stick up for me, but I was in seventh grade, and I was late to class, and someone was saying, it was a kid saying something about, oh, they said something about, why are you always late? Because I was always late. And this girl, she said, well... It's not really her fault. Like, it's probably harder for her to get here on time because she's kind of chubby chunky. High schoolers are fucking brutal. And I don't understand. You're all having the worst time of your life. Fucking be nice to the other kids. Maybe they'll be nice to you back. I didn't go to high school. Don't listen to me. It didn't even... It wasn't even... Because when you are a kid... I don't feel this way anymore. When I was a kid, and I've been fat all my life, and I'm good with it, but um, when you're a kid, it's like you fear embarrassment so much, and I was always so scared someone was going to say the word fat. Someone was going to call me fat. I don't know why I was so scared of that, but I was. It didn't happen until seventh grade? No, I'm sure it did. I, I didn't even know I was fat until kindergarten, and I was, I was wearing this outfit that I thought I looked so cute in, and it was new, and... um. One of my friends on the school bus, she was like, you look pregnant. And it was Ooh. like, then I realized I do. And that's when I realized I was fat. I didn't even know I was fat before that. But anyways, th that's why I remember that when she said that. Because it didn't really hurt. And it didn't really seem like she was trying to be cruel. It just seemed like she thought, you know, fat people are slower. Which, I don't know. So I was taking I a test not. in first grade. And where they had the bathroom and, like, the school classroom. Did you ever have that experience? You went to Hodge. You had to. You yeah. just don't remember because you didn't have anything traumatic happen like I did. We were taking a test. I want to say it was a state test. Yeah. In first grade. And I had to puke out of nowhere. And I wound up shitting my pants. Oh, fuck. So I'm in this bathroom... In the classroom while it's quiet outside and everyone's testing and I'm puking and shitting my pants and then I have to walk out like I was so traumatized in early age I didn't give a fuck about embarrassment. I don't think by the way that your husband is very interested in this question. I don't know. I wish I could think of my real answer but that's just the first thing and who gives a shit. 
Because I don't really think that was that cruel. I wouldn't classify it as cruel. It just, it, it stuck with me. It's your first, your first awareness of how randomly, God, what a mean world it can be. Society, kids in groups, people in groups, humans. Joseph, you're perfect. Has anyone ever said anything that hurts your feelings or anything like that? Before you answer, don't puke into the toilet. Sit on the toilet with your pants down Jesus Christ. and puke into a bag. Just be naked. Because you're probably going to shit. Anyway. Yes. Hmm. You wouldn't have thought that needed said, but <laughs> apparently it does. Well. Yeah, it's happened to me. <laughs> There's lots of things. <laughs> Did it hurt your feelings when you got here? No. Nah. bothering you? Well, my mom told me one time she wished I was never born. And that she was going to kill me. Well, you did and then shoot ruined, her while she was on I, the toilet. And then I ruined her life. How old were you? When? When that happened? Or did was that like a... That happened on your birthday yeah, every year nine. sort of thing? Okay. No, this was... So you'd already shot time. her when she was on the toilet? Yeah. Your mother was a young mother a who was time, abused herself... Was she has since apologized for how you were raised. Let's not trash her. I'm not trashing her. I'm just he had a good child saying though. that that's stuff that stands out to me that I can remember. I know. Yeah. If your mother hadn't made you cry so hard that you wanted to run away from home and leave the house all the time and run the streets, you wouldn't know us. How would life be then? No. Next is the Boston Logger. Question is, what's something that someone could say to instantly have you consider them a friend? Fun question. Instant. Let's kill someone. <laughs> well, he did just tell us what kind of household he was raised in. It's cool. I'll pick it up myself. <laughs> He's too busy. <laughs> Exchanging looks with his wife. This is Katie, by the way. She's my sister. Um, if the videos seem less funny lately, it's because I'm editing them so that she can chill. And uh, I'm not very good at it. I don't know the whole zoom in on people's faces when it's funny and <laughs> all that shit. That I've is been... to say, our early episodes were great. I've been missing it. Especially if you're going to once a month. I could chime in here and there if you want. Are you just are you telling me right now that you're gonna edit the episodes for me? I could once a month. You were doing it once a month. It was twice a month. No. It was I, way more. We were okay, we were doing it I, weekly. That's also, right. Also, I was homeschooling the kids at that time. Mm -mm. Katie, I'm fucking kidding right now. It's <laughs> summer break for one now. Plus next year they're well. It's still public school. Zero. It's not the same school, but it's zero. Public. Really? Is that bad? Oh shit. Boston Logger seems. Forgot what we were doing. It's smooth. How would think? Shit. Mm. I don't like it. It was terrible. Maybe it could be the, the ratio. I don't know. But see I that? Did not like it. These seem like they should go together really well, because this beer is is kind of like this wine. But when different. you put them together, the wine should stand on its own. It's It feels like it's watered down or it's trying to be hid by this beer. It's got a that multi character. It it's just not. It tastes like soda to me. Something about it is soda y. Okay. And I don't appreciate that. I keep Which, coming. I'm one of those people that hates, like, hates um, soda mix, like, mixed drinks with soda. I hate it. I don't know why. I like it from those fountains. I've never had that. Where they put the little syrup flavors in it? Oh my god. Never. Okay, go to like Fuddruckers or Payway or something and just drink all the mixers. Go to Sonic and just get flavor added to it. 
soda. And then mix it with alcohol. I recommend blackberry with a diet sprite or sprite zero. Yeah, sprite's probably a, a better soda mix. I guess I mean dark sodas. Even though I don't know. I've never liked a sprite or anything. I don't know. Mm-hmm. This okay. tastes like an expensive <laughs> raisin beer. It's got a wine quality to a Boston lo- like it's just not I like these two things on their own a lot. Get me wrong. Put together. Mm-mm. Now if if you're going out constantly and buying $20 bottles of beer, you probably think this is great. I'm going to give it I'm going to give it two. That's right. I knew you had to be higher than me. I got drank it all. I'm not off put by it. It's just not great. Are you drinking wine? No. Are you just prepping? Yep. What's something someone could say to instantly have you consider them a friend? Can I have some water? Did Toby and Heather leave? They just be Alcohol. Yeah, wine's gonna go to your head. We started in a hell of a place. When you go to look up, see, my wife and her friends have this theory about lips being numb, and that's how you know you're drunk. For me, or not drunk, but when you're like tipsy and feeling yourself officially, it's your lips being numb. For me, it's like when I go to look up and like my eyes kind of cross, and I don't mean for them to. I know what you mean. I definitely know what you mean. I don't get the numb lip thing. Laura said that she, when she takes a shot, it's a good shot if she can feel it in her vagina. It burns. I don't have one of those, unless you're asking my braided radio co-host. But I don't have one of those. Joseph? Mm. How can I make you my friend? My friend. No shit, I was pissed at the long guy earlier. For showing up a day late. It's a Saturday morning, almost afternoon. About to start doing shit. I'm mad. But I had to move my car so everyone could park in the driveway. And I was walking back in and he's getting in his truck to leave. Goodbye, my friend. Like something about someone tacking my friend onto the end of a sentence. It just works. Like I'm not mad at you anymore. Like, I can't fucking be mad at you. Just call I, me your friend. I don't I agree. Yeah. Like uh, Lionel Richie. <laughs> oh, he he says the dumbest shit possible, but my friend. <laughs> so it's like, oh, what? <laughs> nice. Did we all just agree so we can move on from this question? <laughs> Is that what happened? Yes. Sure. You got nothing? I would say something trashy. Let me know you're down and dirty, you know? Mm. Then I'm interested. I don't know. Someone said you want a million dollars? We're friends. Now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Joseph's purchasable. That's what we're learning. <laughs> Katie, you just walk into a room and start singing some older women to her. Older women are beautiful lovers. Or is that the wrong one? There's trashy women, which is I like my women just a little on the trashy trash. side. There's another older women, I feel like. You were recently talking to me about this. And I don't remember what we were saying. See? Alcohol will do you good. Yeah. Even when it does you dirty. I like permanence. So I think if someone makes clear to me that they're not just going to randomly disappear, um, that they'll always consider me someone that they think is worth knowing, unless I do some foul shit, which I'm not going to do. Yeah, we're good. We're golden. Yeah, on a real note... Which I don't have friends, but good place to start. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't <laughs> Take it from me, cause I got no friends. Okay. If somebody though, like, had, like, they did something, said something, whatever, to show me that they they were like looking out for my kids when they were around. I'm just waving at Toby. It's okay. Oh, you can see him in the mirror. I could. He disappeared. Then it wouldn't even matter how much I liked or didn't oh, like dang. them. I would appreciate them. If they liked your kids? 
if they were like looking out. You know, they were like a protector type. I just like people. So like we're that. not friends. Oh. Come on over to my house and do the hot ones challenge. <laughs> Said some do your kids. <laughs> my kids would probably want to do that. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I got lost on Stuart PM and the floor realized I didn't want to talk about that. So let's move on. I was going to say nice things because he was very cut and dry about it. I, I peed in my pants and I did it right here in the hallway. So this part of the floor is wet. And I just wanted you to like, that's the first thing he hit me with when I woke up after he stayed over one night. I was like, cool. Nothing wrong with that. Good to Hopefully know. you weren't hydrated. The carpet won't be yellow. Keystone! Let's fill this beast. What's up, Eric? What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the drinking party. All right. Y'all save me some? I'm sure there's plenty here if you want some. Pass that, Joseph. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. No, I'm secondary. I'm just... I'm your spotter. The question is, have you hallucinated something? Smorgasvine. Ooh, but it's bastardized because we're kind of doing it backwards. This is the weirdest way I've ever poured something in my life. Yeah, wine into a shot glass. <laughs> but also <laughs> this motion. All right, if I'm going to give Keystone something... You can let it sit, obviously, for a long time. Because we've been sitting here a long time. And it's still Keystone. Yep, and you can pretty much mix it with anything. Yeah, just kind of like, made it a bit sweeter. That's not bad. I'd say five. It's like the Sprite of beers. Not bad. The sprite of beers. Mm, some tart. Some... Maybe it's just the wine. Maybe I just noticed the tartness of it more with the keystone. I don't know. Yeah, it waters it down, but it actually highlights the flavors in the wine. Uh, Something interesting happening here. Wow. That's surprising. Mm. I just imagine our Idaho family. Let's go grab a bottle of wine and we'll mix it with Keystone. Yeah, we'll be fucked up beyond belief. Let's do a comparison. Maybe I'm wrong. And the alcohol percentage is probably different there. This is 4.1%. This is three times stronger, at least. So don't combo. Joseph, I'm rating? All right, said Bucky. I'll say six. I'm going to agree with the six. It's different. Uh, I I feel like I learned something new about Keystone. Which is that it can probably be mixed with things to uh, soften. So if you think this is too heavy, too bitter, maybe even too sweet, mix it with a Keystone. And actually, while we're here, while y'all think about the question, I'm um, curious about... I've hallucinated a lot of stuff. What? <laughs> the fuck? All right, Grandma. Let's hear more. <laughs> no, it was a long time ago. He did call a preacher because he thought he was being possessed. That was called sleep paralysis, which I later You learned. still called a preacher because you thought you were being possessed. Yes. Not, I really thought the devil was inside. I thought about killing myself that day. Like, I was really ready to just end it. This was in Granberry. I feel like I need to check on you more often. <laughs> yep. I was around during Granberry times, some. I it all. I don't It was remember. in Granberry times. He had just recently saw The Exorcism of Emily Rose, which... Just before I moved down. ...scarred him. I don't know. I was in the little house. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was there by myself. And the devil got a hold of me. 
<laughs> Actually, I don't need it. No, and then uh, I took acid once. Oh yeah, I forgot you did that. Hallucination. Yeah, I get you. I have oh, hallucinated yeah. with weed. <laughs> Twice. That is the only time I've ever that hallucinated. That wasn't just weed. You hallucinate. Yes, it wasn't like crazy a crazy hallucination, but it was a hallucination. I was laying in the driveway when we lived at the old trailer. It was that was the summer I first started smoking weed. I was laying there with Misty and her boyfriend. They were like in the car smoking. I was smoking with them, but for some reason I was laying on the ground. Which cup are you on? I was looking at the neighbor's bush. Yeah. And Me too. The wind was blowing that night, and I was just studied studying it, and it was turning like a carousel and changing sh- like shape shifting into characters, not characters I've seen or anyone's seen, but characters looking at me a certain way, posing. It was happening. And then then at once I was with Shane. My bad. We were walking down the road. I was very high. This was the first time I ever really got high. I had smoked before, but Misty that night taught me how to properly hit a joint. And I just got carried away. We were walking, me and Shane, and the road suddenly, we the earth was a ball. And I could feel it turning, and I was really scared I was going to fall off the road. She's acting like she's on a documentary. But I could see the shit. It's, I, I remember this plainly, even though I was high. I was quite high. But I was trying to teach her a lesson. Because she just seemed to think, get high anytime, do whatever. And I, it's the mom in me, you know. All right, I'm going to get her fucking high and I'm going to take her for a walk. Because I know that's not going to end well. We didn't make it halfway to your house. And actually, there's a scene in my novel where two characters are under the road in the... It's actually... All of the childhood trailer park comparisons we do, that's right by, um, it's right by the Elliot house, right? It's like the next door to the Elliot house. And I used to play down there as a kid, and you used to, when tornadoes and shit came, we would go there. Yeah. Out of fear. But when you got freaked out that night, we were, (laughs) I just kept thinking, we could hide under the road right now, because I was high, you know? I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, anyway, it was, it was the it was a road oh. underneath the I, road right here. There's a really you got to pee. Yep. Bye bye. What do you cold. call those tunnels under the road? Oh, storm drains. Yeah. Well, there's a big Maybe. one. Like you could comfortably fit inside of it and just chill. Take a nap. And right at the opening of the tunnel, there's this big ditch, concrete ditch. It was just like it was very terrified. I was going to fall off the road into that ditch. Reminds me of something out of Tony Hawk. Like something you would skateboard in. Yeah. It was I never awesome. never saw anyone skateboard in it. And there was a it's bridge a little further down on the... And that little river ran behind uh, Tim and Tori's house. We're way out in the woods. I apologize. See, wine and beer. If you want a recommendation, if you're having a short party, wine and beer. Otherwise, I don't recommend this. Keystone and pickle beer together, amazing. Oh really? Yeah. Try it. Well, you don't care much for the pickle beer, but it was better than um, oh, I beer. thought. Maybe the hazelnut beer would be okay, but it wasn't. You can't mix Keystone with anything. It has to be a a powerful flavor that needs knocked down, and this is perfect as is. More palatable. Yeah, calms um, down the pickle beer. I give you a year, and you'll be craving pickle beer. I can see it happening. Okay, let's let's go early. My earliest hallucination memory uh, was when I was living with my dad and my mom and Aunt Misty, and you were a baby. It was back when you were in a walker, and you used to run out the front door, and your uh, walker would flip over, and you just kept doing it because you're an idiot. I've heard these stories. Yeah. Don't remember. Cat either. poop eating days, you know. You, you were a smart kid. But there's the living room. There's our parents' room. 
you slept with mom and dad in a crib in their room, but Laura and I had this middle room between. And Laura slept like a fucking baby. Nothing ever woke her up. She was always asleep. But me, I was always awake, and I was right by a window, and my dad had bought us a fucking... He got, he got a kick out of the fact that I was scared off, or I was scared by the Dolls movie. I just happened to see the Dolls movie playing somewhere. It freaked me out. So he bought a Freddy Krueger nightlight. And it just had my imagination going 90 to nothing. And I remember looking out the window one night and seeing skeletons riding bicycles over a, a tree, stump. tree stump. Yeah, they had cut down like a tree or a bush or something. It was a flat stump. And they had like little uh, signs on the back. Like, uh, what do you call those things? On the backs of cars. A license plate. License plates. Yeah, they had license plates that said hell on them. And they were just skeletons riding bicycles over these little tree stumps. That's the earliest hallucination I can remember. I've had plenty more. Help us keep the combo going. <laughs> <laughs> By sharing our video. And we'll see you next time. On the banter bar. I'll just leave you a little sip in case you want to go I back. I appreciate the sip. I think I could drink quite a bit of this. I just want to see how it feels in my mouth. I guess we'll see you next time. On the band, bro.